Good morning YouTube, my name is Justin. I run this channel here called Bike and Bird and today I'm gonna to show you how to install the Memphis Shades Road Warrior fairing on your 18 and up fat bob. Let's get into it. So before we get started, I just want to point out that this installation is specifically for the trigger lock mounting system. Now if you're kind of in between which one you'd like to get, I had the trigger lock mounting system on a previous bike and I absolutely loved it. Definitely worth the couple extra bucks. I also want to point out that this install does not require a lift, although I will be using one in the video, it is not necessary. So after you have everything laid on the table like so, go ahead and start by removing the bolts from the brackets themselves. These are 11 millimeter bolts. After all the bolts are out, go ahead and isolate the rubber grommets that will be installed into the fairing itself. Simply take the grommet and insert it into the hole into the fairing. Make sure that it lays flat around all four holes like so. Next we will be attaching the mounts to the fairing. Make sure that the trigger lock portion is towards the top of the fairing and that the curvature of the bracket matches that of the fairing. These are side specific. Take the shiny black pieces that we detached at the beginning of the video and insert them into the holes now filled by the rubber grommets. Take note of the orientation of the shiny black pieces as they have two flat sides that need to sit against the walls of the mounting brackets. Next, take your bolts along with your washers and start threading them into those shiny black pieces. After the bolts are threaded in, go ahead and snug them up with your 11 millimeter ratchet. Be sure not to over tighten as you are screwing into plastic. Repeat the process on the opposite side. From here we'll go ahead and move on to the bike. First, remove your headlight surround by removing these two T40 bolts at the bottom, and then lifting out and down. Now we will start to mount the fork clamps. All fork clamps are exactly the same, so it does not matter which one is in which position. Just pay attention to this extra piece here. This must be pointed towards the rear of the bike. Start by removing the bolt that's holding the fork clamp together. Then take the larger piece and mount it onto the fork itself. Just make sure that your bottom brackets sit above the little taper, right above the bottom triple tree. Next, slide in the smaller piece of the bracket at its tightest setting and go ahead and start to thread in the screw. Do not tighten this screw at this time, just get it snug enough to where it will hold in place. We will tighten all the bolts later once the fairing is mounted. Repeat this process for the remaining three fork mounts. I also want to point out that where you see me mounting these fork mounts are not where they end up at the end. I'm simply getting them mounted to the fork, snug enough to where they're attached, but still loose enough to where I can move them around once the fairing is ready to mount. Once you have all the four clamps mounted, go ahead and reinstall the headlights around using the two T40 bolts that we took out earlier. Now this next step was a little hard to show, but it's extremely easy and once you see it in person, it's very self-explanatory. The best way to get this mounted up nice and flush is to go ahead and start at the bottom. Insert the bottom fork clamps into the bottom of the mounting brackets and then get them positioned to where you want and then go ahead and tighten those down onto the forks. From there, simply get the top fork clamps in the position to where the trigger lock mounting system can go ahead and clamp on, making the fairing nice and secure. I recommend taking your time and making sure everything is nice and flush before doing a final tightening of all four bolts. If you do it right the first time, you should never have to touch these mounts ever again. Next we'll move on to the windshield. The windshield is a very simple install. Use the included hardware to mount the screw and a rubber grommet on the outside and then use your fingers to tighten it on the back side. Remember that this is plastic hardware and you should never have to use a screwdriver on it. Simply finger tighten and you'll be good. 
One trick that I like to use is to hold the outside screw in place with a fingernail while I tighten the backside nut with my fingers. And that's literally all there is to it. Even if you're not super mechanically inclined, I have full faith that you can get this whole system installed in your garage in under an hour. I've gone ahead and included links to all these products down in the description below. Full disclosure, these are affiliate links, so if you purchase using those, it does help out the channel and I do appreciate it. If you have any questions about this install, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section below and I will answer them as soon as I possibly can. And last but not least, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, go ahead and punch that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.